my channel so we're going to do another salon viable really easy chrome design um, with a winter theme um, in this video super super nice so I've already pre-done two tips and I've used Lindy from Gems gel polish collection and we'll do this third tip together so Gems gel polish collections are generally really highly pigmented so you don't need to cake them on just nice thin layers and you'll still get a beautiful coverage of the colours. So I've used Tina Top on this one, which is a tack free high shine top gel. I've done one in Martha Matte, um, and our third design is using Tina Top again. So now we're going to go in with our chrome powder. So you, it's always best to put your chrome powder on as soon as it comes out of the lamp while the nail's still a little bit warm. And just using a tiny amount and using my finger, really giving that chrome a, a good rub in to the nail. Making sure I get all around the sides and giving it a good coverage. Little dust off with a soft dust brush before we top coat. Again using Tina, which is our high shine tack free top gel and pop it in the lamp for a 60 second cure so going on to our second nail while that's curing in the lamp again we're going to full chrome this nail but we're not going to top coat it uh, we don't want to top coat the whole design we're going to paint in our smile line so I'm going to use Felicity Flex from Gems Gel Polish Collection to do this now the reason why I've chose Felicity is because she's a slightly thicker consistency gel so I find it just helps me have a little bit more control over it while I'm drawing in the smile line just to try and help me get it as crisp um, and as sharp as I can so I just pop in three little dots just to mark out where I want my smile line to be and then using my crystal nails zero short drawing those dots together um, to create my smile line once I'm happy I'm going to fill in the whole bottom half of the nail with Felicity Flex and I'll use the the bottle brush to do that make sure you get right um, around your your edges because um, we want to seal in that beautiful chrome so we haven't top coated the top half of the nail only the smile line that we've made at the bottom and once you're happy pop it in for a 60 second cure and once that's done using just some cleanse and your lint free pad we're going to wipe over the entire nail so it gets rid of the chrome at the top to reveal our lovely chrome french look okay so now we're going to do some detailing on these um, and I'm going to be using my Perfect Nails um, Deluxe Gel in white, which is a tack free top um, design gel. And I'm going to be using my Zero Short Brush by Crystal Nails. So we're going to start off by drawing some icicles in there. So I start off by just outlining around the cuticle with my um, deluxe gel now if you're doing this on a client because we are working so close to the cuticles if you you think you might get a little bit there on the skin always pop your skin guard on just to protect your client so once you've got your little half moon shaping around your cuticle area we're going to pull some of that product down giving it a thicker base up at the top and then bringing your lines nice and thin different sizes and tailoring it out to a nice thin line at the end now before we cure this gel we're going to put some sparkle in there so i'm going to tap in some of our gorgeous fairy dust um, and i'm using silver mist so into the uncured gel just tapping in all over the white that stunning gel and we'll pop it into the lamp for a 60 second cure dust it off to create our glittery icicles so we're going to go in now and do a snowflake on this design so the easiest way I found to do my snowflakes is using a dot technique. So I pop in a centre dot, then two above it, two dots below it, two dots at each side of it, and then one just above 
each side dot so it almost creates like a diamond shape then using my detailer brush going back to my center dot and just drawing a line through all those dots to create the shape of our snowflake so that's the, the quickest way i've found to do the snowflakes and when you've got every client around this time of year and each of them wants um, a snowflake or two we're all about having um to do things as quickly yet as prettily as we can um and i really like using the dot technique for my snowflakes so going on to our second nail so again this is lindy but it's finished with martha matte which is um gems matte top gel i absolutely love martha matte you know some mattes can turn the colors slightly um especially white like a, a dirty mucky yellowy color martha matte doesn't do that um she really not keeps the color underneath um which i absolutely love her so still using the same technique for these snowflakes a dot for the center one um two dots above two dots below two dots at each side um, one dot above each center dot and then using your detailer brush to lightly pull that gel out to create your snowflakes so if I'm doing more than one snowflake on a nail I am a bit clumsy so I do tend to flash cure in between um, just so I don't catch it with my, my fingers or anything so just a five second cure in between each snowflake just to freeze it in place so I know I'm not going to have an accident with it I'm just going to pop in um, a snow, half a snowflake on the side there just because it is quite a big nail um, so I want to fill the space up a little bit and we'll pop some little dots in and then when you're happy pop it in the lamp for its full cure of 60 seconds so our last one still popping a snowflake right into the center just to finish this beautiful chrome french off same as what we've just done two dots ab above two dots below two dots at each side and pull that paint out um, to create your gorgeous snowflakes and that's it I hope you've enjoyed it guys i hope you managed to take something from it thanks for watching look after yourselves stay safe and i'll see you next time bye for now